Hey, how you doing, y'all? My name is Sean Powell. I do Automated Wealth Network. And uh, I want to talk to you something I think is very, very, very important. Very important. It's probably as important, if not more important, than anything you learn in Automated Wealth Network. And uh, I know it's a pretty strong statement, but I'm telling you the truth right now. And it's not only for that, it's for any business. Number one, the importance of a niche. N-I-C-H-E, niche. Okay? When you go into a business, no matter what the business is, you need to find that niche. The ironic part is, when you learn your niche, it'll probably work with anything. Because your business is this foundation here. Well, you got people here, you got a foundation here, and you got you in the middle. Some businesses require you to be that huge glue in the middle, that have to hold these two together and hand hold them and all sorts of good stuff, and y'all come close together, but let me ask you something. How much time is actually being involved? And there's a chance that they still ain't going to do it. You know what I'm saying? You've lost a lot of time. And so a lot of people get burnt out even when they're getting results. Okay? Automated Wealth Network doesn't have any handhold. Literally. It literally takes care of itself. It's, it's automated wealth network. I'm, you know, I'm, to be honest, I don't know if I really even saw that for what it was in the name. I just thought it was a pretty name. You know, oh, look, Automated Wealth, AWNA. It's like, well, I thought it was pretty because my name is SHAWN. I got AWN as my last three letters, so... I don't think it's coincidence. <laughs> but, um, but the point is, y'all, when you do this and you get in, you really got to believe in your business and you got to believe in yourself when the money ain't there. And I know a lot of y'all, you need the money. I hear it all the time. I, as a matter of fact, I didn't realize how bad people needed money until I started doing online business. The please I get, man. The actual please. And see, it's structuring a business. I could show you what I did, but you're not going to make the money in your first day. If you got, a, if you got your light bill that's due by Friday, they're going to come get my car. Well, great, but I'm going to more than likely tell you, you might make a little money, but you're not going to be able to come in here and just bash it out. Because if it did, it wouldn't be fair for the ones who bit their head on a roadblock for a freaking month before they got across it. And that's something I'm going to explain in just a second. So, hey, you get into a business. You feel like maybe it was very important. Maybe God even steered you that direction. I think that a lot of times you'll feel that. Okay, Trust that instinct. Number, number one, go ahead and believe in your business when you're not making money. Number two, when you start making money, that's called credibility. Because what happens is, and I'm not going to say this is the only way to build your business because it's not. There's many, many different avenues for people to make money. I mean, or to, to send out, you know, to promote their business, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But number two, when you reach that money where it's starting to be paid, then you realize you can teach them what you've done. I'm not saying you can teach them everything because you can't. You're too new. But you can teach them that one avenue that you know, hey, look what I found. Bam, it makes money and it works for me. Okay? Now, so now that, that, I'm not saying that's your niche necessarily, but your credibility is gone. Credibility will increase with more time it'll grow your credibility will grow okay so you'll learn how to do other things or be able to teach them even better and when that happens at that next level of credibility then go ahead and, and show them that as well teach them what you've learned okay go from there all right now when you start making money and, and everything starts fitting together then you found your niche which means you found a way that maybe you can make money but it might require a lot of time or you don't have that time so you find a niche that you can get people to look at the, the business without spending a lot of time on it. Then you exploit it as hard as you can. When you see that something that works, don't keep going out, oh well let's try this, well that's great, but that's what the point was. Take when exactly what you needed. I don't have much time because I'm still in a restaurant for 13 hours for three days a week, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I'm not in the restaurant. Yesterday grew my business more with me working in a restaurant than I ever have in the whole business since I started five months ago. Don't sound like much, does it? But I've grown a lot in five months, man. My head's screwed on right now. So you get in, you love it, you believe in it, you start making money. You find out that avenue that may work for you. You exploit it. That's your niche. Okay. Now, when you reach that point, something inside of you explodes. I'm just going to tell you. 
And when it does, when you start making money and it starts just feel like it's bubbling up and you quit trying to feel like every person's a paycheck and the fact that you're out there and you can actually help them, that is when you start seeing it really go to the next level. Okay? Your ads change. I'm not saying to go to, 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 to Craigslist, but I guarantee you that I can post on Craigslist and I blow their mind because something inside of you, God gives you something when you believe in something and if you can put it out and, and, and show the people and whatever content you then you are going to get blessed. Y'all, there's two things you need to look at when you find your niche. Number one, you've got to reach masses. You've got to reach masses of people. You're not going to get it off of ten people that see your business a day. Ten people, you, you sh you're going to have to have more than that getting in to make it. Okay, so it, you need to look at what's the big picture. How big do you need to be, and realistically, how big and how much work and how much time is it going to take for me to structure it? Structure your business to make that possible. Okay, number two, content has got to be on par. Okay, don't, I mean, when you first get in, you're not going to come out. You got to know, for day, day first weekend, and after four months of doing it, making it money, content's not going to be the same. I don't care what anybody says, the content's not going to be the same. This content here is going to spam that one. Okay, this is excitement. You're roaming excitement and enthusiasm until you reach that level to where it's just a whole different level. You'll know it. Okay, that content does not need to look anything like the people around you. If you do Facebook, man, look around. They, they just copy paste. This is representing my business. Stamp. And that's it. You need to put your heart in there. You need to put pictures of something that you care about and then have what you write down that you feel. You do something like that and you put on Craigslist. You put in videos. You do anything. Whatever you do good, do good at it. Okay? Steve Dordill and Mark Crosby, two of um, the guys in the business. I know Mark uh, pretty well. I've never really talked to Steve a lot, but I give him a lot of respect. I've seen the videos. Okay? I know what they do. It's no different than what I do. It's just a different avenue of it. Right now, I do a lot of YouTube videos. I've got over 100, about 125 of them now, or something like that. But really, it, I didn't get out of it what I was hoping to get. I've enjoyed it, and I'm a social person, and I can teach people. So I use it for that just as much as I probably have been promoting, to be honest. But what Mark Crosby and and Steve Ordeal do is they're really good at putting out good content. Well, I had to do the same thing, but my content may not always necessarily be just videos. But when you get to masses of people and you have good content, then everything fits in the middle. Then you start looking at other things. How can I make that ratio even better? Number one thing you want to look at is follow-up emails. How good can you get your follow-up emails? Number two, you need to send them value, which means what exactly you're going to send them. Number three, call to action, y'all. I'm telling you, that snap, that click, God showed me what this means. Sometimes you hear stuff and it just doesn't click. This clicked. This changes everything. I'm going to tell you. Call to action means that when you're doing something, you tell them what you want them to do. Because if you don't, you're going to have them go there, but they don't realize what they're supposed to do. Okay? Now, you're assuming they're going to get it. Assuming is a huge drop of percentage that you don't want. Okay? So go there, tell them what you want them to do. If it's them signing up at My Cash Freebies, if it's PLS, if it's just them being a member, if it's whatever your objective is, make it clear. Because call to action is that. Clarification, I would like for you to do this. And hang around long enough that you see the big picture without... Because if, if you go there and you don't grasp it, you're going to lose it. At least if you sign up here, you know, they, you, you know they've gotten to the content, to the thick of it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Y'all, that I just told you is five months of roadblocks in figuring something out. I'm dead serious. Whether you decide to take it and run with it, I don't care what business you do, it's going to be the same thing. Quit looking at people like they're a paycheck and start helping people. And when you look down there and say, oh, look, hey, look, click, and you send it. That's awesome. Sorry, my phone just leads coming through, <laughs> but it verifies. I'm using my phone, as a matter of fact, to make all my videos. Y'all, I'm telling you, if you believe in this, hit the roadblocks. Don't you stop. Don't quit because you quit before you get to your niche. That's the difference between making it and not. 
That's the difference between changing your life, to be honest. And when you go from business to business to business to business, it's the same thing. Now, it's just as important to have great content and reach masses as it is to have reach masses with great content. One without the other is just spinning your wheels. I know a guy personally has 871 groups that he sends out and gets like eight leads a week. I could go to the bathroom and get eight leads in, a, in, in that amount of time. I'm not going to lie. But that's because you need to focus on your content. Steve Dordell and Mark Crosby's going to tell you the same thing. That is the secret to this business. If you don't know the business, y'all, click the link. Sorry about my phone. Uh, but click the link, and I'd be tickled to death to show it to you.